COVID-19 Mythbusters Looking at the statistics of COVID-19 as of 10th of April 2020, according to the WHO, about 1,439,516 cases have been confirmed of COVID-19 throughout the world with 85,711 deaths. In the previous month, CDC released an ultrastructural image of SARS-CoV-2 virus. It is made up of three proteins, E protein, S protein and M protein. The S protein present on the surface gives it an appearance of a crown, hence the name coronavirus. The SARS-CoV-2 virus enters your body through your nose, eyes or mouth through the respiratory droplets. An infected person coughs or sneezes. It binds to the ACE that is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor present on the vulnerable cells which are predominantly the cells in the airway. The virus upon entering the vulnerable cell incorporates its RNA into the host cell hijacking the host cell. The host cell begins to produce viral proteins. New copies of the virus get assembled into the hijacked host cell. Each infected cell can release millions of copies of the virus before the cell eventually dies. These copies of virions can infect the nearby cells or through the lung droplets can infect nearby people. The symptoms of COVID-19 infection are fever, dry cough, shortness of breath. Emergency warning signs are trouble in breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest and bluish lips or face. If you experience such emergency warning signs, immediately contact your nearest healthcare provider and receive prompt treatment. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person. Recent studies indicate that people who are infected but do not have symptoms likely also play a role in the spread of COVID-19. There is currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease 2019 and the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to the virus. Now talking about certain COVID-19 myths. Exposing yourself to the sun or to temperatures higher than 25 degrees does not prevent the coronavirus disease COVID-19. or Cold weather and snow can kill the virus. This is a myth as you can catch COVID-19 no matter how sunny or hot or cold the weather is. The normal body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees to 37 degrees centigrade regardless of the external temperature or weather. Countries with hot weather have reported cases of COVID-19 such as in Africa there has been 8,337 confirmed cases. In Southeast Asia, about 12,156 confirmed cases and in Eastern Mediterranean, 87,882 confirmed cases. Similarly, in cold regions of Europe, there have been 759,661 confirmed cases of COVID-19. So to protect yourself, make sure you can clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your eyes, mouth and nose. Being able to hold your breath for 10 seconds or more without coughing or feeling discomfort does not mean you are free from the coronavirus disease or any other lung disease. The best way to confirm if you have the virus producing COVID-19 disease is with a laboratory test. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are dry cough, tiredness and fever. Some people may develop more severe forms of the disease such as pneumonia. You cannot confirm it with this breathing exercise which can even be dangerous. 5G mobile networks do not spread COVID-19. Viruses cannot travel on radio waves or mobile networks. COVID-19 is spreading in many countries that do not have 5G mobile networks. COVID-19 is a spread through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes or speaks. People can also be infected by touching a contaminated surface in then the eyes, mouth or ear. The new coronavirus cannot be transmitted through mosquito bites. To date, there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. To protect yourself, clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Also avoid close contact with anyone who is coughing and sneezing. How effective are thermal scanners in detecting people infected with the new coronavirus? 
Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who have developed a fever that is have a higher than normal body temperature because of infection with the new coronavirus. However, they cannot detect people who are infected but are not yet sick, sick with fever. This is because it takes between 2 and 10 days before people who are infected become sick and develop a fever. Can spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body kill the new coronavirus? Well, the answer is no. Spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. Spraying such substances can, can be harmful to your clothes or mucous membrane that is your eyes and mouth. Be aware that both alcohol and chlorine can be useful to disinfect surfaces, but they need to be used under appropriate recommendations. Can regularly rinsing your nose with saline help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? Or can eating garlic help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? Well, the answer is no. There is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from infection with the new coronavirus. There is some limited evidence that regularly rinsing nose with saline can help people recover more quickly from the common cold. However, regularly rinsing the nose has not been shown to prevent respiratory infections. Garlic is a healthy food that may have some antimicrobial properties. However, there is no evidence from the current outbreak that eating garlic has protected people from the new coronavirus. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, antibiotics do not work against viruses, they work only against bacteria. The new coronavirus is a virus and therefore antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment. However, if a patient is hospitalized for COVID-19, the person may receive antibiotics because bacterial co-infections is a possibility. There have been cases where people thought that ibuprofen can worsen COVID-19 sickness. Till date, no reports have been confirmed yet that ibuprofen can worsen COVID-19 sickness. However, it is advised that if you present with COVID-19 symptoms, contact your nearest healthcare provider and do not take any medications without prior consultation from your doctor. So, Talking about face mask, the CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain such as grocery stores and pharmacies, especially in areas of significant community-based transmission. The cloth face covering should fit snugly but comfortably against the side of the face. Be secured with, with ties or ear loops, including multiple layers of fabric, and allow for breathing without restriction. Cloth face covering should not be placed on young children under age 2, anyone who has trouble breathing, or is unconscious, incapacitated, or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. The cloth face covering should be washed and cleaned regularly depending on the frequency of use. You can easily wash them in a washing machine. The CDC has provided instructions for both sewable and non sewable face covering, which you can find it on the CDC website. I shall just recap it here. To make a sewable face covering, you can use two 10 inches by 6 inches rectangles of cotton fabric and two 6 inches pieces of elastic, rubber bands, string, cloth strips or hair ties. Cut two 10 by 6 inches rectangles of cotton fabric. Use tightly woven cotton such as quilting fabric or cotton sheets. T-shirt fabric will work in a pinch. Stack the two rectangles, fold over the long sides one fourth inch and then hem it. Then fold the double layer of fabric over half inch along the short sides and stitch down. Run a 6 inch length of 1 8 inch wide elastic through the wider hem on each side of the mask. These will be the ear loops. Gently pull on the elastic so that the knots are tucked inside the hem. Gather the sides of the mask on the elastic and adjust so, so, so that the mask fits your face. For a non sew method, you can either use a bandana or a square cotton cloth approximately 20 inches by 20 inches. Take a coffee filter and cut it into half. Take the bandana or the cotton fabric or the cotton cloth and fold it into half. Divide the folded part into three equal parts. Fold the filter in the center of folded bandana. Then fold the top third down 
and the bottom third up. Place rubber bands or hair ties about 6 inches apart. Fold side to the middle and tuck in. This is how it would look from the inner side. So this was a brief recap of COVID-19 and the myth busters associated with it. Strictly maintain a meter distance from infected people and each other and wear face mask when in a public gathering. Protect yourself and your family and stay safe. I hope you have liked this presentation. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.